so zanka view of x-ray is done for which joint we have the various joints around the shoulder if we are given an x-ray image we should know how to identify these various joints so this is the humerus this is the glenoid so this becomes the shoulder joint or the glenohumeral joint this process of the scapula is the acromion process and it articulates with clavicle so this becomes the acromioclavicular joint and this process of the scapula is the coracoid process so if we correlate that's the scapula the glenoid humerus so that's the shoulder joint this is the acromion process articulating with clavicle and that's the coracoid process so the zanka view is done for this joint that is the acromioclavicular joint how do we remember that the mnemonic is in the name zanka itself so it is the joint between a and c that is acromioclavicular joint so how do we take this x ray is the x ray beam is angled cephalid at a degree of 10 and it is centered on the acromioclavicular joint and basically it's an antero posterior that is an ap view so remember the zanka view mnemonic anc acromioclavicular joint